Okay guys, welcome back to a really cool episode. This time, as you would have seen by the title, we're doing Underglow on the S13. Let's go. Tell me, is it wake up in the air? Rappers scattered off the gear. I can map him, get yeah, the air. It's like a tracker, get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him lacking, run the drill. Run. Running through the shit like a motherfucking day. Alright, so I've gone out and I've purchased a eBay spec um, RGB LED underglow kit. And it came in the post. This kit included the remote, the power cable with the fuse and also the LEDs and these are the weatherproof ones I've just laid it out on the floor because they were coiled up and I've just laid it out to get it all nice and flat and then these ones are pre um, molded with cables that go to a cigarette lighter so we're going to change that and wire them in hard wire because I don't even have a cigarette lighter in this thing it's a full track car um, but yeah this is going to be sick so I bought this car and it had pink neons on the inside but nothing on the outside so we're going to do the underglow that it deserves because underglow is sick and i don't know why it went out of fashion it's the freaking coolest thing i've got underglow on the 180 as you probably would have seen i've got the rgb on there but it was just a um five meter roll of like um cable and then i just made up my own wires between it and bought a remote separately it works but when I drift with it, it just gets ripped out. So I'm going to try and do this one a little bit better because this car, um, it sees some serious action. But if you enjoy this kind of video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Drop a comment on if you've got Underglow or not or if you're going to order some. Let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button. Let's get cracking, eh? First up, we're going to lift the car up. I'm lucky enough to have a hoist in my shed. So I'm going to lift it up with that and it's going to be a piece of piss underneath there. You're going to need a torch and some cutters and the some zip ties. And yeah, let's go. Radio cars up. Let's grab the trusty light and have a look and have a look and see what we've got going on under here. So I've got um, side skirts that run on this car and if I was to mount it to the side skirt it would be difficult to get it off. So we're going to stick it straight to the actual car and whack a couple of zip ties in there to help hold it as well and then run all the wiring back to the dash. and. We're going to have some sick underglow. It's The kit comes with two shorter ones and two longer ones. As you can see here. So we've got two shorter ones, two longer ones. Obviously the long ones go down the side. And the short ones go on the front and back. So I'm just going to install that now. And try and do a better job than last time. With the 180, I took um, wiring like up over the wheel arches and back around and it, yeah up here it doesn't really um, get protected very well and the tire rips it off so hopefully I can come up with something better or have it secured in there better see how we go first tip this double sided tape is super good quality it's got no branding on it at all but from eBay it's gonna be perfect it won't ever come off but you want to make sure you give your surface a bit of a clean with a wet cloth get the dust off and just help it stick down that bit better and then in the spots where it looks like uh, it might come off or where possible I'm going to drill through this and put a zip tie around it just to, as a backup and then hopefully it'll hold it on there um, for many track days to come on the front here there's not much of a space to actually mount it so I'll figure something out but yeah this car is not your average car. On a normal car, this would probably be a lot easier. But anyway, let's stick one up and see how it goes. So the first strip has just been stuck on just like that. And you can see that end is hanging down a bit. So I'm going to whack a zip tie on that end and then probably a zip tie there and a zip tie in the middle and then she'll probably be so sweet as, hopefully. <laughs> so 
I even came with the world's small zip ties, which is perfect for what we need here. Okay, so after a bit of playing around, I've got all the strips mounted with zip ties going bloody everywhere. And mine, because I've got a drift spec car where it doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna, to mount the actual control box, um, the, the lengths they gave you just wasn't long enough. So what I would have done if, um, if it was a registered car was cut the wires and extend them, and then it will have, it'd be long enough to bring the box up into the cabin. But what I'm gonna do, I just spread the lengths out and stuck them on and just like wherever the cables ended up, that's where they ended up. And the box is like down halfway down the car um, because yeah, you would extend it normally and, it, and make it so it's in the cabin. But it's halfway down the car. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drill a hole straight through the floor and have the little um, receiver, like the RF receiver poking up in, through the floor. And then that way I can press the button in the car and then that'll um, change the colors. Turn it on and off as well. And then also a poke a wire up um, through there's like a hole in the firewall that you can poke a hole up into and feed your cable through which I'll show you there's a hole up in the wheel arch there this is on S13 uh, where you can poke cables through and then also um, on the other side there's another hole but yeah so because this is a drift spec car I've done a bit of a hack job on it and you probably wouldn't do it like this in your car, but this is how I've done it anyway. So I've got the, um, so I've got the strips, the zip tied on here, plus the double-sided tape, and that's gonna hold on there real good, because this is gonna get absolutely, like, put, through, put to its test, because this car is super low, and it scrapes like crazy. So the wire coming across here I just drilled a couple of holes in the rail, which you wouldn't do on a car that you cared about. And then brought it across and zip tied it up here, just keeping it away from the exhaust. And then on this side, same sort of thing, over the top of the gearbox, down around here, drilled a couple of holes in the rail and brought it across to there. So that's the two sides in the front. And then the back is just double sided taped to my bash bar and then I brought it along here and then up over the top of the rear cradle um, and zip tying it up to the stock fuel lines because they're handy as to zip tie shit too and then it comes along and then halfway down the car here this is where the box is this is the receiver box that um, when you press the remote that little receiver there gets a signal and then switches the colors and turns it on and off. So I'm just gonna drill a hole straight through the floor here and poke out that little receiver inside so that way I can use the remote inside. And then also, I didn't notice before, well I didn't realize, but it came with this cigarette lighter and I was saying we need to chop it and change it, hardwire it in. Well, conveniently, they actually supply this option to plug in and wire this in. How good's that? So I'm gonna poke that through and wire that into constant 12 volts as well. Happy days. Alrighty, so there's my little control box coming up through the floor. <laughs> just ran a wire around here just loosely at the moment and wired it into the existing LED light. So they've, someone already put LEDs under the seats, which look pretty cool. And then on the back of the roll cage, which looks freaking awesome at night, especially from a distance going around QR, it looks wicked. Um, and so I've just wired in the LEDs and I've got the remote here. So let's see if it works. On. Oh, it's red. Hang on, where's pink? Purple? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna turn the lights off. <laughs> Holy sh 
shit. I love Underglow. How sick is that? Yes, that side works as well. Front works left and right. And the back. That one makes like a straight line because of the guard. That's it. That looks so cool. Oh shit. This also has a bunch of other buttons on it too. Um, is that music button? Hello? Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Wow, this one goes to the bloody sound. Huh. That's cool. Oh, so you can play music and it will play to the song. Uh, brightness. Full. Want full brightness. So sick. I love Underglow. I can turn the light on before I fall over. That's white. Oh. Oh. I can't wait to get this out to QR. And be pumping around the track with the bloody neons on. The underglow. It's so sick. I don't know why it went out of fashion. Obviously, Fast and the Furious um, got the underglow going <coughs> wild. Um, and everyone was doing it at some stage. But then all of a sudden it became unpopular. And then everyone was taking it off saying it's not cool. But when I got into a cars, I thought it was still cool. So I've been putting it on all my cars and I love it. So... If you're keen on doing some underglow, just hit up eBay. Quality. The actual, the double-sided tape was actually really good. Like, you didn't even need zip ties in most of the spots. I just did that because the drift car and the wheels um, pop sometimes on the rear. And you get rubber flicking around and it will just rip off. Plus, going over ripple strips is quite full on. But yeah, all done. So happy with that. But yeah, I'm just going to do like a little outro here showing off the underglow and um, that's a wrap so pretty bloody happy with it it all worked first go which is always nice and yeah ebay quality see how long it lasts but thanks for watching guys